Hello dear students, welcome to Vision Pharmacy. In our today's video based on pharmaceutics, we are going to study introduction to dosage forms. So students, in this video we are going to study definitions of various dosage forms. This video is important for B Pharmacy students semester 1 and D Pharmacy first year students. So let's begin. To start with, we will start with the definition of dosage form. So dosage forms are the mechanism by which drug molecules or active pharmaceutical ingredients are administered to area of action inside the body to generate maximum intended benefit and the lowest unwanted effects. Or it can also be defined as the dosage form is the combination of active pharmaceutical ingredients and recipients in the formulation. Now we will be seeing what is the need for formulation of this dosage form. So the main aim is patient safety and drug safety and to obtain maximum benefit out of this dosage form. Some other benefits or need for the dosage forms include first deliver precise or accurate dose then mask or cover brittle test or odor of drug substance as in the case of capsules coated tablets flavored syrup etc then mask insoluble or sorry make insoluble or unstable drugs stable by selecting a suitable vehicle as that in the case of suspensions then protection of drug substance from atmospheric oxygen or moisture example coated capsules sealed ampules etc then the next is control release method prolong the duration of medication effect example control release tablets, capsules, suspension, etc. Then protection from stomach acid or gastric juices example is enteric coated tablets. The next one is provide optional drug action from tropical administration sites for example ointment, cream, ear and nasal preparations. The next one is drug can be injected into the body's tissue example implants then the next need is optimum or oh, sorry optimum drug action for example inhalants and the next is provide for the introduction of medication into the body's orifice example rectal and vaginal suppositories now we will be seeing the various dosage forms one by one. So let's start with liquid dosage form. Firstly we are going to see monophasic liquid dosage forms. The first one is liquid routes. So these are liquid oral formulation comprising single or several doses of medication. Then. The next is elixirs. So elixirs are sweetened, colored aromatic, hydroalcoholic liquid of potent or nauseous drugs. The next is gargles. So these are generally concentrated aqueous solutions applied externally for preventing or treating throat infection. Gargles are usually diluted with water prior to its use and it should not be swallowed okay that is you are supposed to rinse your mouth and spit it out then moving to next the next is lotion so lotions are liquid suspension preparations meant for external use it is applied on the skin without friction okay that is it is not to be rubbed much on the skin then the second one is liniments liniments are liquid or 
semi-solid preparations intended for external application it is applied by rubbing or friction but should not be applied to the broken skin okay that is on wounds then the next is aromatic waters so these are the saturated aqueous solutions of volatile oil or of other aromatic or volatile substances moving to the next one so next is linctuses okay so linctuses are sweet viscous liquid usually containing medicinal substances it is employed for the relief of cough and also used as demulcents sedatives or expectorant now moving to next liquid dosage form that is mixtures so these are liquid dosage forms in which drug or drugs are insolubilized or dispersion form the next is spirits so spirits are alcoholic or hydroalcoholic preparation of volatile substances containing 50 to 90% of alcohol moving to next one so next definition is of tinctures so tinctures are alcoholic or hydroalcoholic solutions of chemicals or soluble constituents of crude drugs tinctures are prepared by the extraction processes such as maceration or percolation now the next definition is of solution so solutions are sterile or non sterile liquid preparations meant for external or internal use then the next is enemas so these are aqueous or oily solutions or suspensions meant for rectal administration now moving to next definition so next definition is of mouth washes so again it is similar in manner that of goggles these mouth washes are used for oral cleanliness and to treat oral infections the next one is nasal drops these are aqueous solution of drugs intended to be instilled into the nose with a dropper and used to treat nose infections and blockages the next definition is of syrup so syrups are concentrated or nearly saturated viscous aqueous solution of sugar now moving to next that is biphasic liquid dosage form so biphasic liquid dosage form comprises of emulsions and emulsion is a biphasic heterogeneous system consisting of at least one immiscible liquid with another liquid or dispersed in the form of droplets whereas the second is suspensions so it is again two phase system composed of a solid material dispersed in a liquid the particle size of the dispersed solid is usually greater than 0.5 nanometer and the liquid may be oily or aqueous in nature moving to next one so now we'll be seeing solid dosage forms the first one is capsules so capsules are solid dosage form in which one or more medicinal or inert substances are enclosed in gelatin shell the other is dusting powder so dusting powders are very fine powder intended for external use it is meant for application on various parts of the body such as i mean in order to provide functions like that of lubricants antiseptics astringents antiperspirants etc then moving to next that is dentifrices so these are fine powders or paste applied with soft brush or finger on the teeth surface and cleaned with the water then moving to next solid dosage form that is granules so granules are 
सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म ऑफ मेडिकामेंट इन विच द पाउडर ड्रग और ड्रग्स आर मिक्सड विथ स्वीटनिंग फ्लेवरिंग एंड कलरिंग एजेंट्स द नेक्स्ट वन इज इम्प्लांट्स सो दिस आर स्टराइल डोसेज फॉर्म विच आर इंसर्टेड अंडर द स्किन बाय अ स्मॉल सर्जरी देन नेक्स्ट वन इज लोजेंजेस सो लोजेंजेस आर डिस्क शेप्ड सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म मेनली मेंट फॉर स्लो डिजोल्यूशन इन द माउथ देन मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म दैट इज अ वेरी कॉमनली यूज टैबलेट्स सो दिस आर सॉलिड डोसेज फॉर्म कंटेनिंग मेडिकामेंट और मेडिकामेंट्स यूजली सर्क्युलर इन शेप एंड मे बी फ्लैट और बाइकॉन्वेक्स नेक्स्ट इज पिल्स सो पिल्स आर ओरल डोसेज फॉर्म विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ स्पिरिकल मासेस प्रिपेर्ड फ्रॉम वन और मोर मेडिकामेंट्स incorporated with inert recipients then the next one is suppositories so these are solid or semi solid dosage form carrying medication that are inserted into body cavities other than the mouth for example they are inserted in rectum vagina urethra nose or ear then moving to next that is semi solid dosage forms so semi solid dosage form includes gels generally gels are aqueous colloidal suspensions of hydrated form of insoluble inorganic drugs the next is jellies so these are transparent or translucent non greasy semi solid preparations mainly used externally next is ointments so ointments are semi solid dosage form for external application that may or may not contain medications okay then the next is creams so creams are semi solid preparations containing one or more medicinal agent dissolved or dispersed in either a water in oil or oil in water emulsion usually for topical application the next is paste so paste are again semi solid preparations containing very high portion or proportion of solid medicament that is from 20 to 50% the next is pastries so these are solid or semi solid mass meant to be inserted into the vagina now moving to next that is the gaseous dosage forms so these dosage forms include aerosols so aerosols is a pressurized dosage form containing one or more therapeutic active ingredients which upon activation emits a fine dispersion of liquid and or solid materials in a gaseous medium then the next definition is of inhalations so it consists of pharmaceutical liquid preparation for internal consumption which are either dispersed or suspended in the propellant then moving to next definition that is spray so spray are the liquid preparations in which drugs are dissolved in water alcohol or glycerin used on mucosa of nose or throat using an atomizer or nebulizer so that's all students in this video we have seen the various dosage forms which are in solid state liquid state semi solid state as well as gaseous state right we have also seen the purpose of formulation of this dosage form that is need of the dosage form along with definition of dosage form so thank you students for watching this video till end